paragraph in the 1923 Act that made it illegal to help a person commit suicide was preventing a person from exercising their constitutional right by not being able to get help to do something that an able-bodied person could, could do. That was Tom Curran, a Right to Die activist and the widower of Marie Fleming, who famously challenged Ireland's euthanasia laws. Fleming was an MS sufferer and fought for the right to take her life at the time of her choosing. She lost her 2013 Supreme Court case and died shortly after. Tom has continued in the work he started with his partner. I now am involved in doing the same as I did for Marie for other people. It's debatable. Well, I know it's not debatable. It is probably breaking the law. But I've personally put in place over the last five years plans for probably 200, 250 people. Also speaking at the ELSA event was Gail O'Rourke. She took her life on the 5th of June, and I suppose everything just blew up from then. We, no, we had nothing. Police didn't come to see me or, or anybody because, as far as they were concerned, it was just a suicide. It was not a simple suicide, however, and Gail was arrested and would become the first person in Ireland to be tried for assisted suicide. She was tried under the Criminal Law Suicide Act 1993 and was acquitted in 2015. Under the Act, suicide was decriminalised, but it became illegal to assist a person trying to take their own life. The Right to Die movement wants to replace this with the Dying with Dignity Act, the future of which depends on the next government. But there's no doubt that the bill will, will be represented. My feeling is that if it's an unstable government, they won't want to take on any controversial subjects that might uh, make the government fall. Uh, so from my point of view, it would be far better to have a stable government, but a stable government that are prepared to be controversial and are prepared to take moral issues head on. The two parties vying for government control have vastly different opinions on the issue. Fianna Fáil leader Michal Martin said he would allow a free vote, while on Taoiseach Enda Kenny said he was personally against assisted suicide and would not allow a vote in the party. The most potent issue that was tackled during the talk was that assisted suicide often prolongs life. It was argued that when people are forced to travel abroad to avail of the service, they often choose to die months before they otherwise would due to travel restrictions because of deteriorating conditions. It now remains to be seen how the new government will tackle this issue, and until then, assisted suicide remains a criminal offence in Ireland. Rebecca Lumley, DCU TV News.